Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay, so before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials th that I'm going to use. So I still be using limited colors my palette and I have the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the raw amber. So I'm using limited colors my palette because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. And if you're using bone china, you can mix it with red and blue to make it dark. And I recommend both amber and raw amber. Okay, and these are my brushes. I'll be using the number 12 nylon flat brush, number 11 bristle flat brush, and number 8 nylon flat brush, long handles, number 7 nylon flat brush, short handle, number 3 nylon flat brush, short handle, and double zero um, liner brush for the details. You can always use one zero or triple zeros okay and this is my canvas it's uh, 10 by 12 inches it's a three quarter prime white acrylic when I use JSO I made it myself okay and we need water to thin the paint and water spray if we're gonna need to wet our canvas and it will be easier for us to blend the colors okay that's it so i'm going to start now and today i'm going to paint oh, okay so uh, still like a forest i think i'm going to paint a forest with a river and it will be an autumn scene so uh, i think I'm, I'm doing this all over again almost sim similar um scene but i think i still love uh, painting something like uh, a landscape like this one so hopefully I can give justice and if you're painting me just follow what I'm doing and good luck and have fun painting. Okay. So first we need to I'm going to do first the first coatings and I think I'm going to put a big tree on the center of the of the canvas. So it this this will be um this will be uh something different compared to the other paintings that I did. So I'm going to put the subject in the center of the canvas. So let's see. Okay, so I'm going to use first some blue and yellow to make some greens and white. So I think I'm going to do the sketching first, a little sketching just to create. So here I'm going to put the river so we need to put some perspective here that's it so this will be the river here and we're gonna put a huge tree here in the center and another tree here okay So this part will be a little horizon. So we need to spray it with water to make it a little white so that it will be easier for blendings. That's it. And I'm going to use some more blue, yellow. There. Okay. More yellow. Again, this is, uh, this is just the background, guys. I'm gonna put some more blue. Okay. 
yellow and red I'm gonna put more blue to make it bluish on the background. So I still wanna make this um, misty. So I'm gonna use more yellow here and blue. So there, I'm gonna fill this part with this color. That's it, and I'm gonna use some more Raw umber and red and yellow. There, I'm gonna make this um, brown. But these are falling leaves, guys. That's it. Okay, so we have now the perspective of the river. We need also to put some greens on this one. Little greens, but anyway, this is just the first coat of the background colors. So we need to we need to retouch it later. I'm gonna use more raw umber and blue to make some dark here. And more umber. It will be something like dark green, yellow, and red. So let's make this part dark first okay and now let's start adding some um oh, i think i'm gonna put some background background colors on the river so we need to make it a little bluish blue and yellow and a little green to make it blue green Yes, we don't need to put more blue. There, we're gonna put more white to add some lighter colors here. So we're gonna put the background here. So I think I'm going to add a curve here. There. 
I know we can add a little colors. This is not a final yet, guys. Touch it. Yellows. Okay, so we have now the background, the background covers. Now we start adding the the first coats. Oh no, the, the details. Sorry, guys, the details. So here I'm gonna use some more blue. Blue and a little red to make some purple and let's start here adding that color to make the background to add some more bluish tone on the background that's it so you need to do it softly there shade so let's just put some blue shade guys okay and also not just blue shade but we're gonna put yellow so we're gonna have to mix it here and white that's it so just have to put some yellowish light on the background or the background of the forest this is also the forest guys oh everyone sorry I just can't help saying the word guys <laughs> there so all you have to do is do it softly and blend it blend it a little there okay and we need to put some green colors green tones of blue and yellow Okay, but I think I I'm gonna need to put more yellows there, that's it. And also here. There, and it start. I think I'm gonna start adding some trees and other objects on the background. So I think I'm gonna use a smaller brush. I'm gonna use the number seven flat brush, short handle, and I'm gonna use this um, row umber with some blue there. I'm gonna mix it with blue to make it more uh, to make the color bluish or grayish. And I'm gonna add a little white to make it lighter. We need to adjust the values of the color because uh, I think we need to make it a misty color to make the look mistier. So here we're gonna put there. Okay, I'm gonna add more darker color. So these are the trees on the background on the forest. That's it. Okay. 
there are actually small and big trees here. It's all still wet, but uh, I think I'm going to add the details later. And also here, I'm going to put bigger trees. Okay, now we're gonna put some leaves using this um, bristle brush number 11 and we're gonna mix for darker green so blue, red, and yellow. More blue, yellow to mix some greens and red. You can dip it into the water to make it wet and let's add some more. So again you can use the tapping technique or punching. So I'm gonna make this part dark. So you just have to cover this one, this part here. Anyway I'm going to cover this with the leaves of the tree so just cover this with uh, everything here. doesn't matter just cover this part so blue and yellow to make some darker greens I'm gonna add more umber so I have to cover this part here everything I think I'm gonna add more blue. And yellow. So here, blue and yellow. And I think I'll umber to make it dark. So let's make this part really really dark. I like it. Okay. So blue and yellow. And low umber. That's it. Okay. 
And you also need to put a little grasses on the ground there using the same color. Just a little grasses to make it dark. And also some plants. So you have no forest. A forest full of trees. There, and now we need to put some highlights. So I'm gonna need some yellow and blue. And red, more yellow. There, I like this color. Yes, just a little highlights. It should be less visible. Yes. I want the highlight highlights to be less visible. And it should be a little yellowish color. You can also put some red there. Because this is an autumn tree, right? So red, yellows and greenish. So I need to put that. Anyway, this part will be covered later, so it doesn't matter. There. So we'll just use the topping technique and put it the highlights on top of each um, each um, dark colors. That's it, not highlights. Now I'm going to add some more details using a smaller brush. This is the number 7 pot brush. And I think I'm going to retouch more. I'm gonna add some details here first on the river bank. I think I'm gonna put, yes, a river bank there. So I'm gonna make it brown. So I'm going to use the umber and some white, but I think I'm going to put some umber, dark umber first. So we need to trace first uh, the river bank. We need to add some curves on this part, part here. So I'm going to put a uh, tree here. So I think I'm going to make the make this. Um, bigger so here there so we're gonna erase this tree and anyway, we just have to cover that part here no worries guys and also here I'm gonna make some horizon. There. Okay. I think I'm gonna use this bigger brush, which is the number eight flat brush, long handle. Here. It. 
So I need to put a river bank here, just a small river bank. So I'm using the raw umber to make some shade here. Okay. Yes. Now we're gonna put a little highlights on the here on the I'm gonna put some lights here on the on the what's it called the forest. So I'm, I'll be using some yellow and red to make some orange. There, more red and yellow. There, I'm going to put more here. Okay. And I'm gonna mix some darker colors, which is the umber and the red, with a little yellow to add some shade. Here, let's add some shades. Also here. So there are some shadows, cut these shadows from the branches or from the tree trunk. There. Okay. And let's make the trees darker. I'm gonna use the raw umber and I'm gonna mix it with a lighter color. That's it. So we have now a darker branch, darker tree trunks. So here, this will be the nearest tree. There. So here, let's add more trees. I 
think uh, I just have to cover some part there so I'm going to add more greens So here more umber. We just have to retouch this later. So we need to focus on other parts first. So I'm using the I'll be using the smaller smaller brushes than by flat brush and we use the blue and the yellow to make some blue green and white more yellow I think I'm gonna put it here I'm gonna make it more yellowish for uh for high uh, for reflection there so just play it at our downward strokes and forget about this trick here guys there just create the downward strokes okay and here also I'm gonna add some background colors. So here I'm gonna use some yellow. There. We need also to lighten this part. Adding some greens. So we use a blue yellow. to add some bluish effect here that's it I'm, I'm gonna use more yellow and white this part here so here I think I'm gonna put it here so these are the uh, highlights of the trees it's uh, strike by the sun or it is hit by the sun or sunlight and here we're gonna put some reflection of that, of that color right there we need to complement there so another reflection and i think i'm gonna need to put the river bank so i'm gonna use this color here with some white to make it lighter So I'm adding some grayish color of the river bank. There. And of course we need to put some highlights on that. So I'm gonna use some white and raw umber. Red and yellow. Yeah. 
there. I think it's not. It will be um, not so obvious, okay? Okay, so let's so let's add more details. So I think I'm gonna be touch here on the but I think I'm going to make this part um, clear first here. So I'm gonna I'm using the wrong umber, I'm gonna mix it with this color here, darker brown, darker green, so here. I'm going to add some green to this part here. I'm gonna make this part darker with a darker brown color yes sorry Add more shadows, casted shadows. There. Okay. Now let's add more. Hey, I'm going to add more orange there. So I'm gonna use the red and the yellow. And of course some white to make it lighter. I can use the punching technique to create uh, um, trap of leaves effect. So I'm gonna add more yellow. So just you need to be a little careful. You need to do, do it to, to add some tiny details on this to make it look like a more small falling leaves on the forest. So you're gonna put a little more detail. now light I love it okay and of course again I need to put some yellow and red orange on the on the leaves here there just a little to make to me to make it look like autumn you can use again the with the punching or tapping technique Oh, 
Okay, how about that? So of course we're gonna put a little um, highlights on the on the red truck. So I'm gonna use white on this brown here, and let's put some highlights. And now let's put some um, reflection on the, on the water. But first, I'm gonna put some green grasses here. So I'm gonna use more yellow and blue and white. Let's put more green here there on the river bank. Okay. That's it. And now I'm going to put, we're going to add the reflection of the trees. But I'm going to make this part brownish here because I think I'm going to make this sh shallow river. So I'm going to put some brown there. I'm going to use some row umber, yellow, red and yellow and white there so let's make this part brownish there and of course I'm gonna, I will be using another brush I'm using this number eight flat fresh and more green so blue and yellow to make some blue green so let's put also some um, deep part of the river here And I'm gonna use more blue and white there I'm gonna put also some bluish stone I think I'm gonna put more orange yes yellow orange and white So let's put some shallow and deep part here. So the lighter, the lighter color or shallow part of the river. And I'm gonna use more dark green, a blue green. I mean, so blue and yellow. here I'm gonna put the reflection of the of the trees so you can use the downward strokes like this
Okay. Here, more downward strokes. If it feels hard, just add, just dip the tip of your brush into the water to make it wet. Okay, so this part I'm going to make. I'm going to put some more darker colors here on the trees. So I'm going to use the raw umber, the blue, and the yellow. I'm going to add more darker tone here, darker leaves. That's it. And I think I'm going to put the big tree here, so I think this part will be covered. Okay. So what else I'm going to put? I think, I think I'm going to add some highlights. So I'm going to use more yellow and white here. And let's add some highlights of the trees there. So we can use the topping technique and all my lights coming from the light the right side. The sunlight is coming from the right side, so I'm gonna put all the highlights on the right side. Yes. So just do it carefully and slowly. There, so you have now some trees. Beautiful trees. Okay. So I think I'm gonna put more highlights here but it will be more orange so I'm gonna use the orange color with white yellow and red more yellow and it's gonna put some highlight there so just do it this way guys just make it look like some um, group of trees That's it. So it doesn't matter if it's uh, visible. There. And we need to use some more greens to add some highlight here. So just just use the same um, green highlight for these trees there. So here I'm gonna put more greens. Just do it softly. Just shade it softly. Okay. There. So far I love it. Now I'm gonna use more brown. Here. I'm gonna add yellow and white. So let's add more here. Let's make this part shallower. There. 
find some rocks. I'm gonna put some rocks. That's it. Okay, and also I'm going to put some three highlights. So I'm gonna use some white. I'm gonna mix it here. To the raw umber and here just gonna put some three highlights there and also here okay and then some highlights from the top so it's from the sky so I'm gonna use some bluish color blue and white only to create a light blue sky color so let's add here there just do it uh, one by one create the highlights and to create something like waves and here we're gonna put one here I think that looks like a water now and it looks realistic for me <laughs> okay as you see as you see guys it looks realistic and I love it but still we need to add some highlights here on the riverbank so I'm gonna use some orange again yellow and red and white here Just add a few, do not overdo it. Okay. Only few. Uh, some some parts are hit by the sunlight. Okay, I think the water looks really realistic and I love it. Now let's proceed more. Let's proceed on the on this part here. Okay. So I think I'm gonna put more leaves here more orange leaves but I think I'm gonna put a tree here on this part a huge tree and I'm gonna use this number seven flat brush a uh, number eight flat brush here Okay. I think I'm gonna do first here the colors. So I think I'm gonna put I'm gonna use the bristle brush 
and yellow and red to make some orange and you can use the topping or punching there to create the textures it's very important I'm gonna put red more red here you can dip it with water to make it wet there go I think we're gonna add more yellow to make some orange it and also we're gonna put some more greens so I'm gonna use some yellow and blue and white I'm gonna push, push, use more yellow and white there. And this part. Let's add some few crosses on the river bank. And it should be light. I think I'm gonna put more yellow. These are some grasses on the river bank. Okay. Now I'm gonna mix it with blue to make it green. Here, I'm gonna use a smaller brush now. 
So here I'll be using the number 8 flat brush. Yellow and red to make some orange. And white to make it lighter. And fluid. These are actually some fluid. Uh, look at this. Um, falling leaves. Okay. Here, more here. That's it. Now I'll be using a smaller brush. It is the number seven flat brush. I'm gonna do it one by one. So yellow and red. So let's do it one by one. Each to create a more detailed dots or strokes. here we're gonna do it each detail Okay. Let's add more orange. So I like to put more orange here. And also here. Mm. 
more orange here so just continue adding more orange guys everyone using this you can also use smaller brush or bigger than this one as long as the stroke the strokes are not that big enough or just big enough to look like um, falling leaves there let's add more Okay, so far I love it. Now I'm going to put a big tree on the on the center. So yeah, I, I need to be put a big tree there. Okay, so this will be the final step. And hopefully I can give justice to this painting. Okay. So again, we need to use the number 8 flat brush and some pure umber to make it dark. I'm not sure we're gonna I think I'm gonna curve it there. What kind of tree is that? Okay. Now I think I'm going to put some yellow um, leaves on these trees. So I think I'm, I'll be using first the this um, brush, the bristle brush. So here I'm gonna add more yellow and white. So we need to use the tapping technique. There. We need to add more red. There. I like the texture of this brush. I'm gonna put more red and yellow. There. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna put more red and yellow. But I think I'm gonna put more yellow first. Okay, and also here I'm gonna put So, just have to cover up more here. Okay, now into add more light colors. Because I'm gonna cover some parts here with the pink leaves, so I'm gonna use. I'll be using another brush. I think I'm gonna use this brush here. So, I'm gonna use some pure, pure red. Okay, now I'll be using a smaller brush for that. Here. Pretty is the number 7 flat brush. So I'm gonna use red and yellow to make some orange. And we're gonna do some more details on the leaves one by one. So it has now the bigger leaves. That's why we're using this brush. So, just use the topping technique, and we need to cover mostly this part here. I'm gonna use more yellow
Dang. Yes, and I think I'm going to add some branches first. So I'll be using the raw umber. So you can add it some water to make it wet or fluid here. Some branches. I'll be using a smaller brush It is the double syrup liner brush So that I can have a smaller details for this So I'll be using an another brush, which is the number 3 flat brush for the other tree. This one is smaller, so it will be easier for us to add some details. I think I'm gonna add, I'm going to add one more tree in the back. There. Okay. First, uh, I'm going to make it darker. I'm just going to put the uh, casted shadow there. Okay. That looks nice.
So, I think I'm gonna put the highlights now on the on the biggest tree. Okay, so I'll be using the white, the yellow, and the red, and a little blue amber and yellow. Here, I'm gonna put some highlights. So I'll put it on the left side. There. And I'm gonna mix more um, brown. So red and yellow. Throw this side more brown here. And yellow. There. So again, do not overdo it. I'm gonna add more yellow and white. I think red. And also here, a little highlights. And of course the other tree there, I'm gonna put also some highlights. So do not overdo it. Leave some more spaces. There. And also this one here. Okay. And I'm gonna add some more blue. And white and amber. This way, this is the diffuse reflection on the back of the tree. So there is something like, there's also some highlights on the back of the tree, but it will be a little bluish in color and not so visible. Okay. There. Okay. I think I'll have the result now looks realistic but still need to add more details so I think I'm gonna lighten this part here of the tree so I'll be using again this brush I'm gonna use the yellow and white Let's make this lighter.
Okay. Just want the background tree to be lighter. So just use the topping of punching. more yellow and mix it here to add a lighter again orange and let's add some details here highlights I mean highlights Okay, how about that? So I think I'm gonna add more highlights on the on this um, tree trunk. So I still be using this color and white. I'm gonna add yellow and red. Okay, more highlights here. And also this tree. There, okay. I'm not sure guys, but so far I love the result. It looks realistic. So I think I'm going to retouch now. I'm going to retouch some part. I'm going to add more highlights, especially here. I'm going to add more drops of leaves.
and I'm going to add more details I'm going to add more um, I'm going to retouch more here so I'm going to add more details like leaves or I'm going to add some brushes so I'm going to use this light yellow in here add more grasses here with lighter color there okay so I think I am done guys for me it looks realistic and I love the result yes and the water looks really realistic so I think I am done and I want to say thank you so much for watching my video today and I hope you get something out of the tutorial I hope you learn something just by watching or by, by doing it yourself by painting with me so so thank you guys, thank you so much. Please hit like, add some comments, and subscribe for more videos in the future. And if you are painting, just follow what I'm doing. And just, just enjoy while you're painting. Okay guys, thank you, have a nice day, and God bless you all.